Well, good morning to you folks. Happy Monday. Happy 4th of July uh, holiday as we celebrate 246 years of America. Um, I pray that you had a good weekend and uh, you'll get to spend some time with family and friends today. Maybe relax a little, but always be thankful uh, for where you live and what God has blessed you with. July 4th, 1820 from Revival Today. Respect for the reward. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasure in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. That's Hebrews 11, 24 and 26. Moses could have had fame, wealth, and power. He was in a perfect place and knew all the right people. His training had prepared him for a luxurious life in Egypt. Moses, however, knew that God's blessing now and in eternity was far more valuable than anything Egypt could offer. Turning his back on it all, he stepped out by faith and followed God. Robert Sheffy, one of the key circuit-riding preachers of the 19th century, was born in Ivanhoe, Virginia, on July 4, 1820. When Robert was just two years old, his mother died, and he was sent to live with his aunt. There he would enjoy the prominence of his family in the town of, and soon head uh, off to Emory and Henry College. With wealth of plenty and esteemed training, his future was bright in whatever field he would choose. God would hijack his plans for earthly wealth and fame, and call him to a work that would yield eternal rewards. Traveling by horseback, Sheffy would take the gospel and stir the fires of revival in the small towns of the Appalachian Mountains. God's rewards are far more valuable than anything this world has to offer. We serve the creator of the universe. We don't have to worry if we will be taken care of. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But when the very hairs of your head are all numbered, <laughs> fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. And that's Luke 6, or 12, 6, and 7. We simply need to follow God by faith, keeping our eyes on the eternal. In this, we have not only the example of Moses, but in a far greater way, the example of Christ. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. And that is Hebrews 12 and, and 2. I, uh, I was thinking this morning as we uh, prepare for, um, no doubt, uh, fireworks and cookouts and food and, and time with family and friends and a time of celebration that we never forget what God has given to us. Uh, Mr. Steffi there that we read about years ago could have chosen a life of wealth and everything that he could have desired. He chose to follow God and whatever that brought. And uh, my prayer is, is that it will be the same for you, that you choose to follow the Lord. You will always be taken care of, uh, as the scripture says, and uh, one day our reward will be greater than anything we could expect to gain down here. My, uh, my beautiful instrument here, honoring uh, the military and uh, the American flag and uh, Brother Harry Basher that passed away. Um, this, of course, um, designed and put in place on this instrument for me by Graphic Creations, Brian Phipps and his crew, and I always want to say I appreciate what they did for this. Now, we did some weekend work and um, got a little raspy throat, so I'll see what I can do here. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her. 
her and guide her. Let's try lower. Through the night with the light from above, from the mountain to the prairie, from the oceans wide with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountain to the prairie, to the ocean. White with foam, God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet. as we know you do with mercy and with long suffering with grace not just as a nation but as individuals god that you will help us to continually those of us who claim to be relievers believers in you to continually look to you for help and strength and those who have not come to know you yet god i pray that we will do our job to reach the lost at any cost Put the things of this world on the back burner so we can reach out to those who need a savior. In the end, it's the only thing that really matters. Uh, you know that, and uh, I'm glad you've given us the knowledge to know it as well. I pray that you will help us to use it. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, I pray that you have a great day today. You have a great uh, holiday. Maybe it's a time to take off and to rest a little bit and to relax. But like I said, do not forget what God has done for us. Do not forget what God has done uh, for um, the United States of America. And I still believe that it is because he uh, wanted us to be founded the way we were. He blessed us and he blesses those who walk and the direction that he gives but uh, my prayer is is that we, although we've turned um, that the believers in this nation will stand for the right and non-believers will hear that's how it works believers tell non-believers holy spirit deals with them they they see something that they need then they pray and ask for forgiveness not my job to save them but it is my job to tell them Happy 4th to you. God bless. See you tomorrow.